Hey guys, what's up today? We're going to be talking about the Element PEC-16. This PEC-16 is available in two different versions, either the real version or the working version, uh, which is this one, or a dummy version, which is empty on the inside and can be used as a battery box for LiPo batteries. Both versions are available in either black or tan color, and they both come with this set of stickers, so you have quite a few different stickers to choose from to decorate your your pack and the working version also comes with this um, remote pressure switch and you can also buy together with an inside M3X uh, flashlight replica the long version for rifles and um, and machine guns and this is called the illumination combo and what you get is the PEC-16, the M3 flashlight and this pressure switch and also a double remote pressure switch that can be attached to your standard rail to your standard 20 millimeter rail just like the PEC-16 or the flashlight and it has two cables and two buttons that go to the PEC and to the flashlight so you can operate both at the same time with just one finger so if you are going as a Navy SEAL or a force reckon or whatever unit that uses the block 2 M4, you definitely need one of these uh, illumination combos. Let me show you what you get. Um, you have on the right side here, um, well, right side, if you're looking from the shooter's perspective, obviously, this is facing, uh, facing the enemy, the front of the weapon. And <clears throat> you get the flashlight, which is quite potent for, for uh, well, such a small package. You get a uh, red laser, you get an infrared uh, <coughs> navigation light, which can only be seen with a uh, night vision device, night vision goggles, or a camera with night vision uh, capability. And you get a blue navigation light. <coughs> okay, so let me show you how this um, is used. This, by the way, needs um, two CR123 type batteries, which go in here you have to unscrew this um, as you can see everything is uh, very very detailed you get all the markings uh, engraved where where they should be you get all the buttons these two screws here are used to adjust the lasers um, they are adjustable so the lasers actually point at where your bullets are going to be hitting your bbs at least um, it is it is very very detailed and very close to the to the original you get these protection caps here that are hold on by these um, rubber rubber straps and the um, pressure switch by the way goes in here and okay so how do you select the the function you'll be using with this switch over here this one in this position would be the flashlight I don't know if you, yeah, you definitely should see this. So you have the pressure switch for momentary on and off. Just by pressing like this and letting go, you can um, illuminate or point the laser at, at something for just as long as you're pressing the, the, the pad. And when you don't want to be seen, you just let go and it automatically turns off. Or you can use the constant on just by pressing this button over here okay so as we go along the style it will choose um, a different function for example the red laser it's uh, it looks a bit pink now but I I tell you it's um, it's a bright red it's just the this stupid camera it's not very good quality we turn it a bit more and we get the infrared and a bit more and we get the blue navigation light. I'm just gonna turn off the light so you can see how potent this is. So, okay, this is a navigation light, so this is supposed to be used either in small rooms, so you're not detected from the outside, or as a map reader or whatever. And we turn it all the way back down and we get the flashlight again, so we depress the button here and it's off again. So, yeah. It's a pretty good replica. It's, uh, as I said, very detailed, very well made. It's um, pretty, pretty hefty. It doesn't squeak or bend anywhere. The plastic is um, is very good quality. It's well built. It got it's got a lot of uh, small details, and it works too. Which is uh, sometimes an airsoft is a problem. You get something that looks 
very cool and then doesn't work or do, uh, do what it's supposed to do and this one does uh, what it's supposed to do and it looks cool for a very cheap price like most element um, accessoires so yeah um, I put a link to this uh, product uh, on elements webpage in the video description so check it out check uh, the illumination combo out and if you want to see the M3 X flashlight, both the short version for pistols or the long version for rifles and the one you can buy together with the PEC-16 as the illumination combos, just check out my YouTube channel and you will see a review on these two also. Okay, bye guys.